what's up y'all um i'm back with another video i recently just made um a rant video so make sure you go check that out it'll be in a link make sure you subscribe like comment all of that but i'm going to give y'all a end of the year 2023 q a i have all my questions written down right here so we're just going to go through them and this is just me like this is my last video for 2023 we're gonna get into the video though make sure you like so make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can be notified every time i post okay first question is do i have any regrets honestly i don't because i feel like every regret is really like a lesson learned and it's like if certain things didn't happen in my life i wouldn't be the person i am and i wouldn't know i wouldn't have the knowledge that i have you know what i'm saying so i don't have no regrets in my life i really don't second question is are you single i cannot answer that right now um i am in a situationship i guess i can say um I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, y'all. Like, I'm not single. I'm not single. I'm not interested in nobody. Let me just say it like that. I'm not interested in nobody. Third question is my biggest lesson. I'd have to say my biggest lesson is to not hold back in life, do everything that I want to do, and also put myself first never give more than you're giving that's that's what i would say fourth question is what to expect in the new year y'all can expect consistent uploads y'all can expect shopping from my businesses because i have a lot of business adventures that i want to open and I just hope y'all support it and y'all fuck with it, honestly. Things I want to change about myself. I want to change how loving I am and how caring I am and how giving I am. Like, I give too much, y'all. I give so much, it's draining as fuck. Like, I noticed, like, I'm not gonna lie, I noticed this year, like, I've given so much that it literally drained my energy. Like, the more I was giving, the more it was draining me. Literally, like, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I will, I will go without to make sure the people that I love would have it. Or I would give my last. And I cannot do that no more because people don't really reciprocate energy. And that's not fair to me next is what keeps me going during hard times i'll say god honestly god 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 if you don't believe in god your preference but let me tell you something god is real and he gonna he gonna hold it down when you ain't got nobody he's gonna always be there good bad ugly he's gonna be there god has kept me going not only that the simple fact that i know what i deserve in life and knowing the struggle that i had to go through in life it's like i want better in life that's also what keeps me going success keep me going the thought of being successful keeps me going in god honestly next question is what are my goals I'm not gonna say too much because in my last video I did say, I did speak on like not saying too much about what you got going on, but I will say my goals is really to just travel and be happy and make multiple incomes, multiple incomes. Like I'm, be I'm thankful that God have gave me the skills and the gifts so i just gotta put that put it all to use like it's a lot of businesses i want to open up i just want to travel i just want to live life i just want to be happy i just want to be at peace 
I just want to be healed. You hear me? I want to be healed. Genuinely. Next question is, where do I plan to be five years from now? So I am 24. So five years from now will be 29. I'd say... I just want to be stable financially. Um, I want my YouTube channel to be monetized. Um, and I just want to be like happy. That's really pretty much all it is to it. Um, I do want a family, but it's like until I meet the right person, I'm not rushing it. Like I love being I love not being a parent, if that makes sense. Like, right now, in this moment, I love not having to deal with, like, baby mama, baby daddy drama. I love that it's just me. Like, this gives me the time to just focus on me and pour into myself. So, eventually, yes, I do want a family. Eventually, I do want the traditional wedding, this, that, and the third. But as far as anything else, for real, I just want to be stable, happy, at peace healed and settled five years from now love language what is my love language honestly it's quality time and physical touch i'm not really materialistic like i don't i'm not materialistic at all like it's like i'm a very loving and giving person but it's like the love that i give out i just want to receive that if you feel what i'm saying like i don't give a fuck about the money i don't give a fuck about the cars the clothes the house the shoes the designer i don't give a fuck about none of that because honestly at the end of the day i can get that shit myself but dealing with somebody else i just want genuine love and reciprocation that's it that's it that's all Next question is something you're proud of that was accomplished this year. And I would say getting my dream job. So I was very like doubtful and hesitant about applying to a job that I really, really, really wanted for years. And I finally got it. So. That's something I can say that I'm very grateful for and that I can say I'm proud of that I accomplished. Like, I got the job that I wanted, y'all. The pay is good. The environment is good and positive. Like, I just love my job. Like, I'm very grateful because it's not easy finding a job for real, especially when you got a background. But that's something I'm definitely grateful for that I've accomplished this year. The next question is, when have you felt the most challenged and how did you handle it? And I'd say, honestly, it's between this year and last year when I felt the most challenged because the people I love the most, I feel like hurt me really, 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 really bad. But the way that I handled it, it's like I just took a step back. I had to like take a step back and isolate and just really look at things from the outside looking in. And I just had to put me first, honestly. Like I had to stop moving on other people's time. I had to like move on my time and do what's best for me. And that really helped a lot because it's like, I was giving so much energy to people that wasn't giving it back. Not only that, I've been snaked out, set up, all of that, y'all, all of that. And I got a story time coming from the time I was set up by the closest people to me. So y'all stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so you can know when I drop that. I have a lot of story times coming up. I don't really give a fuck. Like, honestly, I could have been dropped the story times, but I was really holding back out of other people's feelings. But now I really don't give a fuck because this is my story, this is my testimony, this is the shit that I went through. And either people gonna fuck with or they not. So that's where I'm at with that. Next question is, one thing people don't know about you. One thing people don't know about me is, let me see. Hmm, one thing people don't know about me. I 
I don't really know because I'm actually an open person. Like, I don't really hide too much shit. So I really don't know what I can say. One thing people don't know about me is I'm very... Mm, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. One thing people don't know about me. Hmm. We're going to come back to that question because I got to think about that. But the next question is, do I have kids? Do I want kids? If so, how many? I don't have kids. If I was to have kids, I would want a twin set of boys. Or like, yeah, I, I honestly would just want like two boys. Because I'm not going to lie, I lost my brothers. I lost two of my brothers at the same time due to like a car accident. And I don't know, I just feel like me having two boys would fill that void. Even though it may not, but it's like at the end of the day, like I just want two boys. Like girls are very difficult and expensive. But I just want a boy because not only that y'all like, I don't know if this have anything to do with anything, but it's like I lost my dad when I was born. So I never had that like, male affection so it's like i know like me having sons will give me that that i didn't have that makes sense next question is my favorite childhood memory and i would have to say my favorite childhood memory would be going to my grandma's house and just watching movies her cooking me breakfast us just like you know enjoying each other's company Cause my grandma passed or whatever so it's like without her i just don't really like ever since my grandma grandma left y'all it's just like i haven't gotten that type of love since she's been gone if that makes sense like her love the way she cares for people that's what i be needing but now that she's gone it's like i just that's just not what i'm getting and that's what I want. So that's what I had to say. Like, going to my grandmother's house, being able to watch Lion King and Madea movies and just eat good and just be in her presence and soak up her energy. That's what I would say. Three things on your bucket list. I want to go to Bora Bora. I want to zip line out of the country. And I kind of want to go skydiving. Yeah, skydiving too. What's the most you've ever felt love? Like I said before, my grandmother gave me all the love that I could ask for. That's the most I've ever felt loved, y'all. So, yeah. Where do you want to travel the most? I want to travel to Bora Bora so bad. Bora 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 Okay. I want to go to an island. I want to go where there's water, sun, heat, good vibes. Not only that, okay, I say Bora Bora or like Las Vegas. I've never been in Las Vegas and I've heard good things about it. So I said. Excuse me. I would say those two places. Something you've never done but want to. This kind of goes with my bucket list, but something I've never done that I want to do. I would say... Hmm, something I've never done that I want to do. Um, i probably say skydiving, honestly. I'm not really scared of heights, y'all. I'm not scared of heights. Like, I love roller coasters. Like, in that moment, yeah, I'll be scared. But, like, when the shit is over with, it's like, oh, this was nothing. I want to go again. But, yeah, I would say, like, skydiving. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about today's generation? 
don't get me started please don't get me started y'all like this today's generation is so fucked up it's so fucked up like i honestly wish i ain't gonna say that but it's just fucked up and i'm gonna talk my shit for a minute like i don't understand how people support and glorilla Christian rock Blueface, Jaden, uh who else i don't know like the people certain people that people support nowadays is just out like it don't make sense like these are the people y'all look up to these are the people that y'all supporting these type of people that y'all putting money in their pockets dumb as fuck like hell no hell no hell no hell no i just don't fuck with this generation like i miss i miss the old times like before i feel like after 2020 or like honestly yeah i feel like after 2020 shit has been downhill like people don't want to love properly people don't want to be genuine friends people don't want to make good music that's not exposing bitches and hoes and shaking ass and drug dealers and this that and the third like what happens to the r&b music what happens to the love music you know what i'm saying like what happens to the real music so that's where i'm at with it like i don't fuck with the generation but at the end of the day i'm strong enough to not fall into the trap and the last question y'all is what would you tell your younger self i would tell my younger self to keep going and to love myself and put myself first honestly and to go after everything i want don't be afraid that at the end of the day everything is going to happen the way it's supposed to happen and at the end of the day god got me regardless that's what i would tell my younger self and I would tell my younger self that I'm worthy, I'm loved, I'm strong, I'm beautiful. I can do this. And this is what I would tell my younger self. But y'all, that's the end of the um, q and I hope y'all liked it. I hope y'all got to, you know, relate on some shit. If y'all didn't, cool. But this is the rawest channel. So I'm going to give it to y'all raw. Either motherfuckers going to love me or they not. But... That's really all I have, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. Make sure y'all turn your notifications on. Please, y'all, help me get to 500 or 1K. Like, I promise I got y'all. I got some giveaways coming. If y'all help me reach those milestones, I got some giveaways coming, all of that. Like, 2024 is finna be a great year. Like, I'm claiming it now. Like, abundance, happiness, peace, love, all of that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure y'all follow my graphic page and my clothing line page. I got so much coming up. Come on this journey with me, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Like, I do this shit for growth. I do YouTube because I want to see my progress. I do this shit on YouTube because maybe some of the shit that I record and talk about can help somebody else like you know what i'm saying like i just want to be an influence literally but i love y'all and i thank y'all for supporting me and just stay tuned for the next video 